So it was around May 2020 when I started these learning binders. We were home, quarantined. This was right before my daughter started kindergarten. So she was five and my son was two. As you can see, they're a little worn because I let them be independent with it. And they were really good about it too. So this is good for when you need them to just go sit down somewhere. Here, take your binder, learn something. So that's what they did. <laughs> so we're starting with the letters. You just point and have them name it. Next, you have sorting. Have him sort the house and the cars by size, big, medium, small. Next, I'm having him count the fruit and then he has to find the number. As you can see, I have him pointing. I think it's very important that they point when counting so that they don't get mixed up. Okay. Five. Okay, good. Where's the five? The five. Yeah, that's a five. Good job. Count the strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Where's this the is, six? This, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a six. So. Okay, count. All right, count the pineapples. One, two, three. We're done. You're done? Mm hmm. Okay, put it on. Nice job. Go to the next page. That is another one. That one. Oh, okay, dinosaur now. He likes the dinosaur matching. I skipped over it. It's just super easy. I'll link everything below, though, so you can access it. So the next one is shape sorting. As you can see, he's sorting the shapes. You have a square, circle, triangle, and rectangle. So he has to put them in the right column. Next page. Whoa. Another. All right, you got the babies. And oh, two. Cow. Cow. Horse. Horse. The big horse. Elephant. Elephant. This is my shit shit, mommy. Chick chick? Yeah, in my room. Okay. In my book bag. Orange. Green. Okay, you don't need to help me. Oh, sorry. Green. I need this to help me get the wet up. Come on. Red. Red. What's that? Yo yo. Yellow. Blue, green, red. I didn't ask him to repeat the colors. He was just showing off. <laughs> so next we have color sorting. Sort by the color. You have red, yellow, green, and blue. I'm going to fast forward this part. Next, this is how he learned how to spell his name. So I made it super easy by writing it right at the top for him. So all he has to do is find the letter and put it there. So we're missing the O. I told y'all this is kind of old and worn. So I'm just going to go and forward through this, but he's supposed to, again, find the letters and put it in order. First O, then S, then A, then I. He used to not want to go in order and just put the letters down whenever he found it. No, we're going to go in order. O, then S, then A, then I, because that's how you spell your name. So this next page is just pointing to the fruit and then naming them. And then the next page is just matching pictures. And then the last page is just naming the body parts. And I'll try to link everything below. So the first page of the pre-K binder is trying to get them to learn their phone number. So you have them touch, you know, like they're dialing on a real phone and practice by touching. And then next you have them find the numbers and place them on it. 
again, we keep the numbers and everything in a Ziploc bag, try to make sure we don't lose any pieces. This involves a lot of Velcro, both binders. So you wanna make sure that you have your Velcro, you wanna make sure you have your binder, make sure you have your Ziploc bags, and then another thing that you'll need is a laminator. But I can put that in the description box below. As you can see here, we're working on patterns. Again, I'm gonna suggest that you touch the colors while saying them aloud. The next page is called build a word. So sometimes you will make nonsense words while building a word, but that's okay. We're still working on decoding. So we take everything out of the Ziploc bag. We have the letters and the paper clip and the pencil we're gonna use for the spinner. So you put it like this. Oops, here we go. Then you're gonna give it a pluck. So it landed on B. So since it landed on B, she's supposed to find the letter B and, oh, we're gonna pluck again, okay. So it landed on UM, so we find the B and then find the UM and place it down. Then we're gonna sound it out, B um, bum, and then we have her write it down with the marker. The marker is supposed to be included in the bag as well. So this next page is used whenever you wanna test their letter recognition. So you wanna see if they get all 52 letters correct and you wanna make sure you keep a record of it to see if they show growth. Then you do the same thing with the numbers and that's it. So that is all for the learning binders. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.